Hi, my name is Ruben Alves. I am from Robot Ignite Academy. In today's video, you are going to see how to create an Acton server. For that, you are going to use this platform, which is the best one if you want to learn to write really fast. Let's start here a course. It was basically in five days, and see how to proceed, how to do this. Mm, okay, everything is loaded. If you remember one of our previous videos, you have uh, seen how to create, how to compile a message. And we have created on our Catkin workspace a package called uh, Actions Tutorial, which is a message, an action message, which is wash the, dishes, wash the dishes. In the description of this video, you will see the link to that uh, video about how to create and compile a message ok, so let's use this package uh, to create an action server, let's create here a folder called scripts where we are going to put our file scripts and let's create here a file action server python, let's make it executable ok, let's open here the file and let's start coding um, Ok, first thing we have to do, since it's Python, we have to use R, B, and Python to say, hey, execute this with Python. Since you are going to execute with Python, let's import Rospy. We need to import also ActionLib because you are going to create an action server. And uh, we have to import the message that we have compiled the, the in the last video. If you remember, uh, we have here ROS message show. If you grab this here, we will see some messages that we have compiled. Oh, not ROS message show, it's ROS message list. ROS message list. Dish. Ok, here we have some messages. We have to import this first one and feedback and results, so watch the dishes action, go and result so from the name of our package which is actions tutorial if you see here from actions tutorial message import watch the dishes and the dishes action we need watch the dishes and the dishes feedback and we also need to wash the dishes mm, results. Okay, this is the messages we we need. We need to see, we need also an action server. So let's create here our class. Let's make it empty for the moment. And uh, we have to check if this file, if the name is main. Then we define our action server. So first we have to initialize the node. Uh, let's say action server is the name of our node. Our server is action server, which is defined in here. And to let our node run until forever, like forever, we just need this host by spin. Okay, now let's implement the action server. I, I have to tell you that this video, unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to to make it in only five minu minutes because this is yeah it takes time so let's define here our class and uh, the first thing we have to define is our server so action server let's say equals action lib we call simple simple action server as we have in here and we have to define the name of our of of our server which is wash dishes action server we have to define put this which is the specification of our action and also we need here the callback I mean the function that is going to be executed so execute callback equals execute callback we are going to implement this function and auto start let's say no but here we are going to start, so save a server start. Uh, ok, now we have to define this execute callback function. Uh, so def execute callback 
uh, self and when this function is called we receive a goal so we define here goal um, the goal is contains this this uh, number of minutes if you don't remember how this message works you please watch the other video which is in the description of this video so let's suppose uh, to make it easier let's create here a uh, a loop which is from zero until the goal let's say it's number of minutes but let's okay we are going to every time we there is an iteration in this loop we are going to send a feedback so but first we, we have to check if the user has cancelled this uh, the action server so we have to check if um, self action server is preempted requested uh, requested this is basically to check whether the user has cancelled this so we put here let's say success false success false let's define this variable here mm, okay let's say that it's false and let's break our while but if the user didn't cancel we don't have a preempt request and uh, we okay we have to send a feedback to the user send which dish was cleaned let's hear last if you check here the message again we have dish is washed as the result is an array and as a feedback we have the last dish washed so let's create here these two variables to okay this is washed and we as a feedback to the user we have to send a message which is wash the dishes feedback and as a result uh, result wash the dishes result okay so if the user didn't cancel let's say okay we washed a new dish the name of the dish is dish washed okay last dish washed let's say it was bowl bowl uh, which the number which is just the i it is this number here just to make it simple and we have to send this feedback message to the user so we have to in our action server action server we have to publish feedback and uh, our feedback message is this one but we have to fill this feedback if you check here we have the feedback last dish washed equals the last dish washed okay now our feedback should be sent to the user and um, let's also fill the dishes washed because we have this variable here on the result so let's after this is washed which is an array after the feedback is published and uh, let's fill here the message result this is washed let's append because it, it's an array le the last dish washed to not finish this in a single second let's wait until if the user send 10 minutes let's wait for 10 seconds so we have here create an uh, array equals raspi rate let's pu publish one message every two seconds so zero point no one message per second it's okay let's put here rate sleep okay so far so good here we have uh, the feedback in this middle we are supposing the one dish was pu was washed and we publish the feedback now when everything finishes here we have to send a result to the user so if it's success if it's success because uh, if the user cancel before we have it false but if it's not cancelled okay if success so in our action server uh, we have to set succeeded and and we publish here the result which is 
this one okay just publish it here and uh, yeah I think we have everything now in place now if we run this code it should work I will paste this code in the description of the video to make it easier for you so let's try to if you check here was node list we don't have any server grab server okay we don't have but if we run our node now which is action server let's run was run the name of our action our package action tutorial and it okay action server actions tutorial mm, okay I think I have to compile the catkin workspace because the uh, in the last video was another day so catkin make let's compile yeah, compile and let's source the devil setup bash folder let's run the same command in the other shells because uh, catkin dev okay let's so our file is our comments will find the message that was just compiled now if you run our server mm, let's run model hospi what is wrong here hospi where is this something in the line 43 43 okay raspi is pin <laughs> sorry for this um, let's cancel this okay now we let's try to run our node again and uh, okay it seems to be working let's see here there was node list grab server and here we have our server if you look here was topic was node info action server we can see that we are publishing on the feedback and result um, let's try to call this uh, uh, the this action server uh, we have here the feedback let's see ROS topic echo and uh, feedback and in the last one let's ROS topic echo result and in this shell let's try to uh, to call because uh, our action server subscribes to this wash the dishes go let's try to rust topic publish and uh, let's say for five minutes but it's going to be five seconds because as we have implemented here we are running for seconds okay so let's try to publish only once and let's see here the feedback you see oh bow one bow two bow three bow four okay we have four feedbacks uh, of the messages that were washed and in the result here if you remember here we were washing uh, subscribe to this topic we have here the result this is washed bow zero one two three four Okay guys, this was a long video today, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, in the next video we are going to see how to create an action client. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching.